What up, players? It's Wallboss Tay up in this mood. So we're doing eyeballs today. The first thing I used was Abaddon Black to paint in this guy's eyeballs. I kind of did it already. I just want, I was testing on my camera angles, so let me show you how I did it. I'm also showing you how I'm holding my hands because when you're doing fine detail work, it's really important. So I kind of brace my palms of my hands together like that. Uh, it'll, it'll help you a lot, especially if you have shaky hands like I do. So sorry I have to turn my guy upside down here, but I'm taking my Abaddon Black and I'm doing a horizontal uh, kind of motion to get the left eyeball done. The right eyeball for this Chaos Cultist is really just pretty big. So white scar is the next thing we're using. You want to shake it up because it tends to separate and get really watery. <clears throat> so you want to make sure you have enough pigment on it. And um, I think I'm putting it onto my wet palette at this point. So um, yeah, you want to get it just on the tip of your brush. You don't want to get too much white on it because um, it's really, really uh, easy to, to get it all over the place if it's not very precise. So here I'm showing you with the left eyeball, I'm doing, uh, again, a horizontal application. So you want to see the black at the bottom and at the top. So that's kind of a simple one to do because the eye is just bulging out. But here on the left side is kind of the size of eyes that you're going to be dealing with mostly with miniatures in the 28 millimeter range, which is most of Warhammer and Warhammer 40,000. So there you can see I'm just kind of just kind of dabbing it on, brushing it really really easily horizontally, and um, that way you keep kind of that um, what, that very light eyeliner on the bottom and at the top of the eyeball. So going back to the Abaddon Black now, we're gonna put in the little pupils, starting with the left. Uh, just to show you how we do it, I'm putting a dot right at the center, and the difference between doing a dot and a vertical slash is that when you do a dot, the eyes look very small. And uh, when you do a vertical slash, you connect the top lid to the bottom lid. Then they don't look as crazy. Uh, you want... Um, kind of see how I'm doing it, a vertical, uh, almost at a diagonal application. Or you could just do a straight up and down vertical, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. If you do a dot like you see on the left, it ends up looking like a crazy person. If you do a vertical, it's easier to see. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking some Cadian Flesh Tone, and this is when, for when you mess up and you've got some black paint because you're painting that vertical slash on his cheek or the white got all over the place. So all you're doing with this is you're going to be painting up and bringing up the highlights underneath and around the eyes. So like here I'm painting the brow, I'm painting the cheek. Um, and this is with Cadian Flesh Tone because I'm using a human, but if you're doing an elf or an Eldar character, you would use Kislev Flesh instead. But you can see I've got some of that black paint down uh, under the bags of his eyes where his cheeks would be. So all I did was just kind of cleaned it up, tidied it up with that Cadian Flesh Tone. And by doing that, you still have that black application of the eyeliner and it looks great. So thumbs up for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.